Hey all, Rusty Review TV, welcome. Check it out. We're leaving Ten Sleep, Wyoming. What a cool ride down that mountain pass. My goodness, right through that canyon. That was epic. That's definitely one to come back to. We are on Highway 16. We're going to head over to a little town. We're not going to go very far. A little town called Warland. They are supposed to have uh, just one super museum there. It's supposed to have a bunch of dinosaur uh, fossils, all kinds of good stuff. So let's go check it out, like right now. Perfect weather, blue sky, a little hazy, not bad. Look at this, look at the terrain changing. <laughs> After being up there in the Bighorn Mountains, uh, quite a difference. But this entire region is supposed to be just full of dinosaur remains and fossils and all kinds of stuff. So it should be pretty cool. Once we get up to Warland, and uh, we're going to pick up another Highway 20 and start dropping south. See a ton of RVs up here. Of course, we're not too far from Yellowstone and Tetons and everything. Look how barren it looks here. No trees. This is looks like this high mountain desert, high plains desert. Wyoming is such a cool place. If you get a chance, you got to check out this state. There's a big RV. Oh, farms. Looks a little greener here. Big farms. Well, here it's ranches, probably, I'm sure. Oh, wow, look at all the cows. Holy. There's a few quarter pounders of cheese. My goodness. Huh. Well, we must be getting closer to War Warland. It was only about 30 miles from Ten Sleep. Coming over here, according to the phone. Must be that straight ahead. Look, it's getting greener up towards there, too. Cool. Hey, hey, I think we made it. Bunch of ag fields. As flat as a pancake, too. <laughs> From mountains to plains. Yeah, speed's dropping. We got to be getting close to town. Here you go. Welcome to Warland, Wyoming. Look at that. They got a big comfort in. We're in the big leagues here. Nice houses. Green grass. Big trees. Small town USA. Back road, small towns. Our Veer TV special. Yay. <laughs> Why take an interstate when you can stop and see the scenery like this? Okay, I better pay attention. That museum should be up here pretty quick. I always like looking around, driving through these places. Oh, 
look at this RV park. There's the Warland RV park. Good info. See a lot of boats. I bet there's lakes around here somewhere. Aha! Oop! Oop! Almost missed it. Here it is. Not too many cars. Let me get parked. We'll check this thing out. Look at the size of that mammoth. My goodness. That is huge. Imagine back in the day seeing one of those things. It's a pretty big building. Look at this thing. Huh. Imagine looking out your window and telling your wife, hey, there's a big mammoth out the back door getting in the trash. <laughs> Nowadays we worry about a bear. <laughs> Joke, just teasing. Very nice young lady working here. They got a little bit of this closed off for the restoring. But they're supposed to have a world class dinosaur fossils, skeletons. What do we got here? Morrison, so it must be the different areas. I guess it's huge here. Looking for, oh wow, look at that. Huh. Have you seen that show on TV, one of the Discovery or History channels? About how they find uh, dinosaur fossils on ranches, Montana, Wyoming, even clear down New Mexico. Fort Union and Wildwood. So this stuff is getting discovered around here. Back in the day, it was palm trees and paradise. When the earth warmed. Wow. You know, this is really well done. I go to a lot of museums, but this is very well done. Huh. In Warland, Wyoming. Gotta stop. Man, look at them. Goodness. The lighting is kind of on and off in here, so if the camera flickers, I apologize in advance. Nothing I can do. But majority of it's pretty well lit. Man, look at the size of those bones. Pictures of them discovering them. They put them in a plaster cast when they remove them from the ground. I seen that on that show. Millions of years old. Absolutely millions. Imagine throwing a spear in that thing and they got mad at you. pot of soup out of that. Oh my goodness. That is huge. Is 
they weren't kidding. When you read the reviews of this online, it's very, very good. Huh. Sample. Well, how they lived back in the day. That's something. What else we got? Cooking. That's how they cook. Good place to live. Change of the planes. Wow, look at the petroglyphs. The pictures of them. Huh. Oh, wow, look at this. That's how they told their story. There, That was their record keeping right there. Look at this. That's cool how they took photos and put them up here like that. Isn't that something? Thousands of years old. Some of the old artifacts. Looks like pottery, tools. Well, there's supposed to be another section. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a different time, huh? Why we dig? They're just everywhere, all these uh, fossils. It's supposed to be another section. There's more of the local history. This is it here, I think. Buffalo. Or bison. Boy, I keep getting that. <laughs> Whatever. Represents an old cabin. That's kind of cool. Look how they made the door with the picture. The way they lived back in the Western days. Johnson County War. You know, that other museum in Buffalo had about cattle wars and range wars or 1887, 1892. Huh. Oh, here you go. This is probably a two horsepower RV back in the day. Look at that thing. <laughs> you think RV is new? Nope. Not at all. So you can roll up one side, catch the sunrise, roll up the other one, catch up the sunset. Home on the range, you got it. Mobile home. Isn't that something? Wow. I love them old black and white pictures, don't you? Oh, look. Hardware stores selling them. Wagon implements and farm machinery. Come buy a wagon. Different bells. You know, that'd be fun to stay in one of these. Got a wood stove. There's your broom. Sweep out the dust. Wash basin.
Here's your little kitchen. Got a bunk bed there, cabinets. Pretty well thought out for the space. Sweat equity. Huh. Spring Creek 1909 raid. Boy, the history here is vast, isn't it? Wow. Big change in Big Horn Basin. That's a survey stick. Mankind changing it. Look at that, look at that old tape measure. Metal tape measure. <laughs> Big old train trestle bridge, wow. Waters, 1900s and rail. So they're building dams and railroad, changing the way everything was. What's that old movie? How the West was won. Huh. This museum is cool. With a capital K. Very cool. Lights kind of shining, but look at the picture. No one's smiling. <laughs> Old report card. Just different times. School bell. Teacher rings the school bell. Get in here. Just totally different. Ride your horse to school. Oh, look at the camera. Yes. Recording history way back then. Too bad they didn't have video back then. There's the old town. I'll be darned. What a cool stop. That's actually a TV screen. <laughs> it's pretty cool, really. Shows a door there. Another statue. All right, well, what do you say? What have we got over here? More pictures. What a great stop. Highly recommend this Warland Museum. Just look for the big mammoth statue on the main street. You can't miss it. Well, we gotta go find this Highway 20. Cruise downtown here. Yeah, I think uh, next season I want to come back up, do a lot more exploring around the Wyoming. There's also a lot of parts of Utah that I haven't done yet. Looks like they got some pretty big stores here. Every town has a Yuck Donald's. There's Blair's Market. Fuel. You got it. This is the hub. Now if you head north from here, you'd be, be heading up towards Yellowstone. 
Tetons are, aren't too far away. Small Town USA. Let's see, I see some signs up here. Somewhere we gotta start dropping south. Here it is here. Yellowstone to the right, Thermopolis. We're heading to Thermopolis. <laughs> Wyoming. Oh, look at this. They got a farmer's market, outdoor farmer's market going there. Right there at their town park. Hometown, huh? Can't beat it. Old brick buildings look like a lot of them are restored. I bet they've been here a long, long time. Must be their historic district. Pretty cool. All right, we're getting out of town. We are heading south. Next stop will be that Thermopolis, Wyoming. Journey continues. Talk soon.